welcome back another day, another vlog. It's Friday. Big night last night, worked my butt off to get you out of video this week. It's finally done and dusted. I'll just turn that down a bit for you. Yeah, all done and dusted, 8.30 tonight, new video. Hope you can come along and watch it. I've got it as a premiere. I'll uh, be on my phone, I may be out, I'm not sure if I'm home or not, but I'll be on my phone, answer any questions you may have about it, about the location, the cameras, the video, the droning, whatever, uh, happy to help. So looking forward to see what you think. Uh, pretty cool. Now this is the one that has the drone stuff from Elephant Rocks Greens Pool. Also, the um, walking with the giants, uh, these beautiful big carry trees. So some really cool shots, some good stuff in there. I hope you do enjoy it. So 8.30 tonight, you can, let me just double confirm that. 8.30 p.m. tonight. Now that's Eastern Standard Time Australia. Check your local if you haven't subscribed subscribe and it'll get you a little leave a little bar because it's premiere leave a little bar and that's the best reason i do it uh, i know some people can't get along to watch it but when you do a premiere it'll give you an opportunity if for your subscribers to hit a bar to remind you so basically you'll get a notification on your youtube app or uh, youtube studio that there's a video coming on in 30 minutes so i think that's a pretty cool it's good for me it reminds me uh, I'm sure it'll help you guys uh, with whatever you're watching. So it's one of the best features, I think, of the premieres. It's why I keep doing them for the photo video ones. Um, I think it just makes it a little bit easier. It's like an alarm clock, uh, so you never sort of miss what you actually want to watch. It's, it's good for me. I use it for Apple events, Samsung events, all the big tech events. I always chuck a reminder as soon as I see it. Um, it gives me a chance to make sure I'm there for it at least gives me half an hour heads up at least so that's pretty cool now other than that we have a new head deck going in the two rig said we're going to be doing some two rig stuff we're going to get that fitted monday because the one that's in it's from 2004 uh it's a cd player i don't own any i do own cds they're in storage um, I haven't used a CD in a long, long time. Um, I've got my iPhone, everything's on my iPhone. I've got like five, 6,000 songs, plus I've got Apple Music. I don't need a CD player. It's got no USB in the car. It's a 2004 Touareg. Uh, it was the top of the range luxury then. Uh, it's got a six stacker in the back, which I don't use or never gonna use. Um, so I thought I'd need to get it into the 21st century and Get this Sony bad boy, beauty is that, it's got a USB in the front. It was cheap, 100 bucks off, it's super cheap at the moment. Couldn't walk past that, that as a good little deal. I'm gonna try and get that fitted Monday, because all me driving backwards and forwards to the airport in Brizzy, uh, I need to be able to listen to some normal music because I've gotta say, some of the uh, radio personalities in Queensland are pretty bloody average. Especially the morning ones out in the country, it's a little bit weird. So I need to be, they've got some good music, there's some great music, but the talk show hosts, I'm not a big fan of listening to them anyway. So I'll be happy to get my own music on there. I can listen to some podcasts and stuff like that. So it'll be pretty darn cool because it has Apple CarPlay. So very, very nice. Touareg will love that. So hopefully that'll be Monday, the first sort of big thing. I've got floor mats coming for it. It's cleaned, it's neat and tidy. I'm looking, chasing up a roof rack now at the moment. So I'm going to put my spare wheels so I don't have to take up all that boot space when I go to the shops. Um, other than that, the tourist going really, really well. Now, this morning I had a service at Harvey Bay um, at the V-Dub dealership. Not real happy. I don't know what happened. Booked in online about four weeks ago. Uh, I had to reschedule it because we're looking at a house. Rang them two days before. They said that's no dramas and booked into this week, rocked up, first one there. Oh, we don't know, have anything for your booking. Let me take your details. Sat down to get a, the lift to the shop so I could do my day. I was gonna go and do some video shooting and stuff and do a video on Harvey Bay, which I thought would be cool. Um, get some value out of not having the car for the day and stuck there. And um, yeah, they come back and said, oh, we don't have parts for your service. I'm like, well, but I booked in like five weeks ago. 
really weird. So now I have to go back next Friday. Anyway, I didn't get angry. I just went, I was totally befuzzled. I think I was still in shock the fact that after five weeks, they weren't ready to do a service, which is just weird. But anyway, I'm sure someone there stuffed up. Um, it wasn't worth getting upset. So I just uh, quickly shot out. Uh, I went and seen the pier. I've done a video on it. Um, it'll go on the long list of other stuff, jobs I need to do. But it came out good. Took the mini out, um, shot across the bay. You can basically see Fraser Island from Harvey Bay. It's a lot further than what I thought. On the map, it looked pretty close, but actually it's a lot further. There's a beautiful little island sitting down in the middle of the, uh, I guess, strait between the island and the mainland. And I went, took some drone stuff of that. I tried out my 2000, Freewell 2000 ND filter on the Mini 2. That did pretty well. It was pretty up there. Got some panoramas. Got some footage of the, uh, the pier, which is a 1.1 kilometer pier. So that was pretty cool. Also had the RP there with my Nissi filters the 1000s and I had the 32,000 and I did an 18 minute, 18 minutes and 12 second shot. Uh, just silky smooth water and this beautiful big uh, pier going right out. So that come up really well, so pretty happy with that. That'll be a video down the track, but, uh, and then I shot to the Botanic Gardens, had a quick look around there. That's some nice places. It's like, for a small town, it's actually got a lot to offer, uh, I think. Just disappointed about the VW dealership. Not, not the best first meeting, I guess. Not the best first date. As first dates go, if it was a, you mean a girl, you probably wouldn't ring her back, I'd say. I've got nowhere else to go to get me car service. I want to get a VW because I've got a couple of codes and I need to clear out until I can get my tools and everything sorted. Uh, so I, have to, I just want to get that and get a bit of a running sheet of where I'm at with it and what I need to fix. Um, so I was a little bit dis, I wasn't a little, I was really pissed. <laughs> I just, I just blew it off and walked, got in the car, went for, got a muffin and chilled out for five minutes and then went and did my video and I was back to happy town. So that was pretty cool. So a lot happening today. So that's why a little bit late today. News wise, uh, there's a little bit around, nothing too exciting. Now there's one big one and look, Sunglasses, love me sunglasses. I'm running Costas now. I run Costas from the fishing and the polarization on them is just really awesome. I've always worn Oakleys. I've got two pairs of Oakleys here that I have. You would have seen them, my blues and my red ones. Uh, I've been running them for a while. I've, I've worn Oakleys as a baseballer since I was a kid. So I guess I've had a bit of an uh, ongoing journey with Oakley. Now, part of their 45 years, which is actually they're only a year younger than me, which is, makes me feel a little old. Um, but they've always had some funky stuff and some great stuff. The titanium uh, ones, the red, oh, I can't remember what they named. I had a set of them and then I lost them. I left them in the cinema. They were like a thousand bucks. I'll spew. <laughs> I'd love to know what they're worth nowadays. They'd be worth a mint. Uh, I did their, when I was traveling Europe, I had the open, and when I got them, the, the Romeo and Juliet, I had the beret on. I've, I've gone through the whole Oakleys. Well, they've come out with something big yesterday or last night or yesterday afternoon, I think it was. Now, it's called the Oakley Cato. It's to celebrate 45 anniversary years of uh, making just craziness and awesome sunnies. They do make them. They do scratch easy, but they they are brilliant sunnies. I've really, I've never had a complaint with them. Um, and I've always had good customer service if I need to send them back for warranty. So I've never had too much of a drama. Now these are frame free vision, basically. So the shape you would have seen on the thumbnail, basically the lens is molded to the shape of your nose. You've got three, three different nose pieces that you can put in to adjust to suit your face. And also they've got a ratchet mechanism, adjustable rack mechanism to tilt the frames to get the fit right. So basically across your whole of your face, it's gonna be basically cover your whole face and mold over your eyes and everything. And then over the nose sort of as a bulb. So I guess the reason they're called Kato, I guess um, Bruce Lee, when he did, uh, he was Kato in the movie or TV series, The Green Hornet. Um, he wore the black mask and that mask, they, those old masks had just a little black mask that always molded over your nose. That's where they got, the, I think they got the inspiration from. 
somehow they've managed to make this lens like that. It's pretty insane. Uh, the adjustments and all that, I'm sure they've gone through it a lot. Uh, for sports people that need to block that sun when they're doing stuff, I know in baseball, looking up at the sun when you're trying to catch a ball is always a nightmare. If you've got a frame or a nose piece in the way, it's even worse. That's why those big M frames are always pretty good. Small little clear frame and then a massive lens to do protect your eyes or give you a chance to sit, catch it. Well, these look like they're like the next level from that. Uh, fantastic technology. I'm, it'd be actually really cool to try them on. I'm, I'm looking forward to get to a shop and, and seeing them and test them out and have a look at them. I think they'll be, they're going to look pretty funky. Uh, <laughs> no doubt about that, but... They've, they've always been on that border, on that edge, cutting edge and pushing the upper echelon. Um, so good on them. Very, very cool bit of tech. Uh, just as you can imagine, building a curved, polished lens out of ultra light materials that are very resistant to scratching and then molding it and getting no refractions of light. So it's a nice clear image out when you're looking out, which is you're going to need that if it, if it distorts or anything. And then you cop a ball to the face at 100 miles an hour. It's you're going to be a little bit pissed with Oakley. So I'm sure they've done all their homework. Uh, looks pretty cool. Only two colors at the moment. There's a red and there's a blue. There is a black. It's not much fun. Um, Frame-wise, I'm sure as these get bigger and bigger and bigger, there'll be more. Uh, you'll get uh, to customize them to suit your needs. But pretty darn cool from Oakley. Uh, great little bit of fun, and I'm sure they'll be cool. Now, 366, they're not cheap. Uh, they're going to pay for all that tech and that R&D. And uh, look, definitely go check them out, try them on, see if they fit and if they're gonna suit you. They're not gonna be for driving or just normal sunnies. These are gonna be for sports, pretty much for sports guys doing hardcore stuff where they need full clear vision with, where nothing's gonna get in their way to block it. So pretty cool, good work, Oakley. Uh, looks like a lot of fun. Now the Hennessy Mam, if you've seen that on the front, if you haven't heard of the Dodge TRX, that's their top of the range. I think it's got the, the Viper engine in it, 700 horsepower, ridiculousness, um, big block, hemi, monster, beast of a ute. And yeah, I think it's a, that was the most powerful production ute that I understand. Um, well, Hennessy's, as always, taken it the next step. They've gone and whacked a monster supercharger on this bad boy. Uh, it's called the Mammoth. 1000 SUV. Yeah, I've just checked my sound. Yes, <laughs> I thought I had no sound on. <laughs> Bear with me. The Mammoth 1000 SUV. Um, look, it's ridiculous. 1012 horsepower in a ute. Well, it's not a ute, it's a ute with a cab on the back. They call it an SUV, but it's basically the, the TRX ute, twin cab with a canopy on the back of the ute area. But still pretty cool. Uh, I'm sure they've got the seats and all that done up, so it's pretty darn cool. Uh, 969 foot pound of torque, uh, pretty ridiculous. It'll pull Christ off the cross. Uh, this thing is just ballsy, ballsy, ballsy. Zero, now th this is a, probably a three, three and a half ton truck. Uh, it's a big, heavy lady. So these girls are big trucks as it is. You whack all that canopy and everything else on the bigger wheels, everything else that they're gonna add into this, it's zero to 100, 3.2 seconds. That is insane. Oh my God, uh, wow. Only 20 getting made. Yep, I understand that. Here's the big problem. It's 375,000 US dollars. Damn it. Oh, maybe forget the Powerball. That could be the new 34 media ute if I get the Powerball this week. What's tonight? Uh, today's Friday, so I didn't get it. No, maybe next week. <laughs> anyway, if you've got heaps of Dogecoin or Bitcoin or whatever coins, or you're just loaded, buy one, bring it over to Australia. Let me have a test drive. That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be cool. Anyway, go check that out. Hennessy Mammoth 1000 SUV. A little bit of fun uh, and just... Crazy, crazy power in a beast of a truck. Very, very cool, Hennessy. Good work. Now, on the last but not least, G Loomis. Big G Loomis fan. Fishing rods, they are oh, pretty much, I think in Australia, there's probably only up. You go to a custom rod um, 
But yeah, G Lim is always renowned for super high quality. I think Shimano actually own them now. Uh, so they combine the tech from the Shimano, you get your cross strength and all the different other stuff. Well, G Loomis has announced through YouTube, I've seen it just before, a new rod coming on 10th of the 5th. So that's sure, three days for us, I'm assuming maybe four days. So early next week, we're gonna have a brand new rod coming from G Loomis or a range, not quite sure. Definitely a rod, uh, you can see a designer sitting at his desk drawing it. Don't know if that's really much of a tidbit. Uh, had a short stubby handle, with a couple of cork, cork on the base and then that. So it looks like a little bit of a casting rod. Didn't look like a, a big game rod or anything like that. A um, little bit of a casting, sort of a little sneak peek. Um, but uh, yeah, 10 for the fifth, I'll keep you up to date with that. If it's G-Loom, you no one's gonna be high quality and should be pretty cool to check out what they have for us. And that's about it. Another week done and dusted. Finally got where I needed to be back, a little bit back on track. Try to get back, well, I'm trying to get there. It's busy, got to look at another house tomorrow morning. So chaos ensues here in the, the world that I am. But it's all good. Healthy, happy, maybe not wise, but yeah, <laughs> halfway there. <laughs> right, anyway, have a fantastic weekend. Hope to see you at the premiere tonight. Day seven of the South Coast trip. Valley of the Giants, these big 90 meter carry trees, 300 years old. Uh, some wicked DJ, uh, mini two footage of elephant rocks and greens pool that we missed out on getting after the astro shoot. So don't miss it. If you don't get a chance tonight, go and watch it tomorrow. Watch it four or five times. Leave me some info, notes, happy birthday, whatever you want to put. I seem to be getting a lot of spammers on there lately, but I'll take anything. <laughs> I'm not fussy. Have a great weekend. Stay safe and hope you and your family have a great weekend. Bye, all. Catch ya. Where are you going this way? That way. I'll see you on Monday. Peace.